Alright guys, welcome back! It's the day after Easter and we are gonna go catch some stocked trout and then do a little catch and cook video for you. So wish us luck and enjoy our new intro. I am trying out my new Luz Mach 2 thanks to AMA Adventures. They sent me this wicked awesome rod and reel. John was using my old Gander Mountain one today. So go check them out to get a chance. That was wicked awesome of them and I appreciate that so so much. I can't wait to get out on the river with this and use it. It's a little heavy for stocky fishing but I just really wanted to use it really bad. This is the secret sauce. Green glitter power bait. Got one. There we go. First fish of the day. Hardly a fish. <laughs> I'm fine with this spot. Got one. See? That's why I'm fine with this spot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Number three. I'm doing the wiggle jiggle. Another little guy. It's you, Daniel. There you go, bud. All right. Nice. Best one so far. Good one, man. Yeah. First fish of the year. All right, good job, man. First fish of the year, first fish of the day. You get, uh, when we get you some new bait on this, I'll get him off. <laughs> Little baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the clip. <laughs> okay. All right, we're home and I'm going to show you guys how to fillet these little guys. They're so small, they're pretty easy to fillet. So we're going to take them, face them away from us like that. Usually you want a much smaller knife than this for such a small fish, but I can't find my small knife, so it is what it is. So we're going to come in back kind of behind the fin here and cut towards the head at an angle until you feel the backbone and then you're going to go along the backbone the tip of your knife just like this and then right around the anal fin we're going to go all the way through like that and then come back up and just rake you got to go through the pin bones but rake the rib cage with the edge of your knife and this way you don't have to gut them or anything you're just getting the fillets as you can see it's nice and clean flip it over like that and then you can use this to hold on to it and slide your knife right along the skin and there is your first fillet and it's that simple Okay, it's day two. We're about to eat these trout. I'm about to cook them up. This is a great recipe. It's very simple. It's delicious. You need some flour. You need some sea salt, some baking powder, of course, some garlic powder. And we're using Caribbean jerk, Caribbean jerk. A lot of people like to use Cajun seasoning. You can use that as well. I was tempted to use a McCormick's Fiesta Lime. I thought that sounded good, but the vote is for Caribbean jerk. And then you need a beer. This is not alcoholic beer. It can be regular beer. It's just what I have. So, ready? Mm -hmm. You gonna do this with me? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So I have the oil going on the stove right now. We're gonna start off with about a cup of flour. Dump that into a mixing bowl. I'm gonna set aside about half a cup. This is less than half a cup. We only got a few tiny fillets. This is for 
after we batter them. And we need one teaspoon of the baking powder, one tablespoon-ish of our Caribbean jerk, as much garlic powder as you like. The recipe actually calls for a quarter cup. All right, Jano, can you grab our fillets? We're almost ready for that. And now we'll mix in our beer. Well, this is like not a lot. You want about a cup of beer? No, it's not a lot. <laughs> That's why we have other stuff. We're gonna whisk all this together and get everything mixed up real nice through a nice batter. And then we're gonna set this aside for a moment. Let that carbonation kinda kick out of there. And we're gonna take our fillets, thank you Jono. Spread them out and we're gonna salt them here before we batter them. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of meat here, so we are supplementing with some hash browns. Not hash browns. Tater tots. Tater tots. So they're gonna go from here, salted, into our batter, into our flour, and into the frying pan. We'll do the first one here. Flip it. Flip it, get it all covered all nice. And juicy. And then send it over here. Cover it. Cover it all nice with some flour. And that's how you bread them, right? Yep. Then when you cook them, it gives them like that crispy brown color. And you don't want these to go in for very long. Jano, can you grab me another plate? Next one in. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, that works perfect. Perfect right there. I have to come clean here. I just set off the smoke alarm. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why the door's open. So obviously my oil was a little bit too hot. It was cooking a lot faster than it really should have been. Honestly, I gotta swallow my pride on this one. I screwed up a little bit. So set your oil to medium. As long as it's pss, when you put the stuff in there, you're good. That being said, I think they're still good. And having an overhead range is also great, which I don't have. Let's just get right down to it. Are you ready for a taste test? All right, why don't you go sit down and grab Jules and we'll have some dinner. Oh, Jules! All right, here it is. The tater tots, I like cheap Weiss brand. I don't know if you guys have Weiss, but they're freaking weird. Continue to eat them. <laughs> Let's try the fish. Local. Cool. All right. There you are, sir, some fish and chips. Do your thing and let me know what you think. We're eating over here because it looks like the Easter Bunny threw up all over our table. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes like chicken nuggets. Good. Yeah, does it taste like chicken nuggets? What do you think? That's just like chicken nuggets. <laughs> I think that's a couple of that. What do you think, Jules? Exactly what he said. It's, it's good. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> like chicken nuggets. It's the only kind of fish I like. There we go. Is it good? Do you like it? It's okay? All right, let me try a piece. <laughs> that was good. It's pretty good, but I did mess up a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Enjoy your fish if you try this. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.